Hey everyone, back again. Welcome back to another video review. This time we're going to take a look at I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, that was not my girlfriend this time. That was just uh, <laughs> a friend of mine that was trying to call me. Anyhow, uh, this time we're going to take a look at the Transformers Robots in Disguise uh, Minicon Class Rat Bat. As you can see, um, Self Remote is a torpedo. Uh, he is obviously a new mold, so it's pretty cool. Uh, Parvy Colors Will Z is this nice dark maroon color, just with some black, some silver, and that's really it. Does have Decepticon symbol to scan for the game, and almost pretty cool. Um, he does come with accessories. We'll get to that real quick here. Uh, he comes with this uh, this twin gun thing, this twin gu twin double barrel uh, cannon. Comes with these wing pieces right here. Comes with two uh, wing pieces. No, this one is a wing. Uh, yeah, it comes with a wing piece. It comes with a a knife piece. No, two two daggers. It comes with a little uh, nose cone tip. So that's pretty cool. All in all, Ratbat's torpedo mode is pretty neat. It's very epic, I must say. The transformation is very interesting. First thing you want to do is come to the front here, flip the feet down. This is not going to be like dive bomb or a swelter that we've seen before. Basically, you want to pull on the on the on the sides of the torpedo, and then basically what you want to do is you want to just pull them, extend them. Yeah, just to extend them like extend them like this, and that will give you is robotic bat mode, which is pretty <laughs> horrific looking, I must say, and I'm not saying it in a bad way, a menacing way. So yeah, there you go, there is Ratbat in his um, bat mode, or robot mode, whatever you want to call it mode. Although, it's pretty interesting. Articulation-wise, he has no existing articulation, he has no head, obviously, he has no arms, obviously, because he has no friggin' arms. Uh, <laughs> feet go forward and back, that's really it. His face, it is very interesting, it almost looks like a demonic or possessed like I almost like Count Dracula possessed Ratbat here and you know it's funny that he's used because of course he's compatible with Fracture but how would Soundwave feel about that or Sound Blaster that would be quite some heavy hefty competition in the Decepticon uh, forces anyhow all in all while I recommend getting Ratbat I just say if if you really like like I said if you like Minicons if you like the the deployers go get them I mean, yes, I know it's unfortunate he won't be compatible with the new, like, the ball minicons, you know, with Overload and Crazy Bolt that we're going to get soon. But all in all, I think, uh, I think Ratbat here is pretty neat. He's a unique figure in his own way. I mean, yes, I mean, he's pretty interesting. Color scheme's nice. He should have more paint, in my opinion. But, I mean, the Takara version has more paint, and hopefully maybe, I mean, people are probably going to maybe paint him into his G1 form. And that would be pretty neat to see. So yeah, that's my video review of the Transformers Robots in Disguise Minicon Class Ratbat. I will see you all very soon. I will be back as soon as possible with my next video. And yeah, so take care. See you soon. Have a good day. And I'll catch you all later. All later. Bye-bye.